What's going on guys, Scar here, and today, oh man, <laughs> today, uh, I'm probably going to be uploading this late, but about this time, a few hours ago, a new 6v6 map, I'm throwing up air quotes if you can't see me, but they're giving us a new 6v6 map that is new! This is a new map! Their first original map for their game. Like, one of the first... OG maps from I believe maybe Black Ops 3. The map is called Hemelot, I'm pretty sure. And it says here, enjoy 6v6 multiplayer mayhem with all the amenities. A pool, sauna, restaurant, and more. <laughs> I'm not here to swim and I'm not here to chill. I'm here to fight. And this isn't really a 6v6 map, to be honest. I'm just saying. I don't think it really is a 6v6 map. Also, if you guys don't know, Black Ops 3 was recently patched. Uh, they patched it for hackers not being able to grab your IPs, because that was an issue for the game. And I think it lasted like a day. I don't know if it's still even working, but they said they patched it, and they were going to release a big major update so people can still play. But also, I heard about a team, the I4WX, or the other way around, uh, that is kind of like Plutonium, but they are actually making a launcher like plutonium but specifically for black ops 3 so if you guys want to go check that out i will try to do a bit of research and maybe i'll leave it in a future video in the link in the description so if you guys want to play that you can you can level up all to all the prestiges and get all the camos again and you won't have to deal with uh hackers really so yeah anyway back to the video oh i forgot to tell you they released modern warfare 2019 cold war and vanguard on Steam! On Steam. So, how could they not do this three fucking years ago? Everyone wanted Call of Duty games on Steam. Because that's one of the main launchers that has almost every single Call of Duty. All they need is Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I don't give a shit. I mean, Black Ops 4 would be cool on Steam. But they could have done this before. I don't know why, maybe, they, I don't know if they had an agreement with uh, Battle.net or Blizzard or whatever, but I feel like even if they didn't, I don't know how they couldn't have done this. And they're all on sale for $30 currently. I'm not telling you to go buy it, but I don't know who's going to buy it at this point, because no one, I don't think anyone's going to buy Modern Warfare. Maybe people will buy Cold War, but I highly doubt that because people probably already bought it on Xbox, PlayStation, or Battle.net. And Vanguard, who would buy Vanguard again? Who would even buy Vanguard for the first time if he had not played it? Anyone who hasn't played it, don't buy it. Don't. Jesus Christ. And when I saw this, I was in school actually, and I saw this on Twitter, and I was like, what the fuck? Why couldn't they do this before? Again, I don't know if they had an agreement, but it seems like total horse shit. They have been rehashing these maps and game modes and everything about these games for years but they can't do it right they can't make new shit i don't know why they can't but they can't even take some stupid black ops 3 map and make it better not better but you know something that we can at least play and have good combat pacing like i feel like that's the thing we're missing we're missing combat pacing because these other base maps in modern warfare 2 they're very <sighs> they're very they're very slow. They're very big. They're like Vanguard uh, You know, they're on par with Vanguard, which is I'm not saying they're good. They're still shit They, they just feel slow. I don't know <laughs> They all feel really weird and you know I feel like I have to run a hundred miles just to get to the enemy spawn and then I have to turn back around because somehow they got around and I couldn't see a single fucking enemy but everyone's on the game. I don't know if they're just picking their loadout and then they left right when I got there. But, I don't know. Also, uh, another mention. I saw the Resident Evil demo trailer. I also saw some of the showcase of the spotlight. And that was kind of fun. I played the demo. Uh, it was like 15 minutes. It was like the chainsaw demo, whatever it's called. It was a, kind of a cool name, I guess. But it was fun. And... <laughs> I'm, I'm really hyped it's coming in two weeks and I'm probably going to be clipping that as much as possible for gameplay because I don't really feel like playing too much Call of Duty I'm, I mean I might play Cold War or uh, I might play I'll play Cold War on PC and Xbox 
and that's probably all the Call of Duty you'll get, because I don't really want to play any more Call of Duty for a bit. Maybe I'll play Elden Ring. Maybe I'll buy Elden Ring and play it. I don't know, because I've heard that game is way better than this. They won the Game of the Year award, so I might as well just trust them. They know what they're doing. They had like 360 devs. They can make that game and I don't know how many years they spent, but they made that game perfect, and that was a pretty fun game. Also, like Diablo Reapers of the S Reapers of Souls, I played that for like a few hours, and that was fun too. That was more fun. I spent two hours playing it. I had the most fun I've had in a bit. I don't know why Call of Duty can't do that for me anymore. Every time I play Cold War, I want to... I don't know if I could say it, but if... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a reasonable way to say this without you know, getting a strike or something. I don't know. Um, Say I was... A soldier and the soldier decided to jump off a building in war zone but he didn't deploy his parachute think of that that's how I feel when I play Cold War I <laughs> I I know this is a short video but I I just saw these releases and I saw all this and some some of the things besides Modern Warfare 2 were good some of them were okay because at least they made like a new map like finally they made a new map after four months basically which is <laughs> not surprising because they've done this before but this is just out of control and honestly i don't like that they added these three games back to steam that's what pisses me off the most i don't really care about the modern warfare 2 news whatever but the fact that modern warfare 2019 cold war and vanguard were added to steam now doesn't make any fucking sense why couldn't they do this before? No, because no one's going to buy it, first of all. Who else is going to buy it besides the people who have a ton of money and they'll buy it four times? One on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and Battle.net. I don't know. The people that just go outright on Activision. I don't know. I don't Because I don't want to pay Activision. I don't. I you, Believe it or not, I don't like Activision. I try to give the developing teams a chance, but fuck Activision. Seriously, fuck off. <sighs> Sorry for all that. Hope you guys weren't near a church or anything. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to go to bed and hopefully not dream like Jose Sako when he dreams about doors. Peace.